Dior! From the intro, there is a lot of Dior forever from the house of Dior. So yeah, <laughs> we are here ready to test it out. By the way, how much did it all cost, guys? How much all these pleasant things cost? <laughs> Let's have a look from the house of Dior. <coughs> well... And today you have half of the cushion, which is 15 milliliter because there is no extra cushion in this cushion. <laughs> and then you have to buy a separate component to the cushion that is half of the cushion and not the full cushion. <laughs> I mean, Dior, cheeky, cheeky, Dior. Uh, <laughs> I mean, guys, the cushion, eleganza extravaganza from the house of Dior. Uh, 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 uh. You take the one cushion and, the, or, and then you can just like press your cushion into this cushion case or take the same cushion and press it in the second cushion case. Anyway, in both scenarios you have absolutely beautiful and gorgeous cushion case. <laughs> wow. All right, Dior. I am shocked. So far, so good. By <laughs> I am shocked. By this, by this Dior foundation. I mean, can you tell? Look at this. Perfection. And the reality. Which one do you choose? Because, for now, I prefer the perfection. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous, beautiful stars. <laughs> Paris Star Channel here welcomes you with a new and possibly a very exciting episode because the house of Dior has landed uh, through the past months, there has been so many new and exciting premieres and I was just gathering all these Dior Forever items and gathering and gathering and gathering and finally, there we have it, <laughs> New Year and I have so many of the latest launches from the Dior and exactly the Dior Forever line. These products, they're ready to be played, to, uh, to be shown and let's see how are they going to perform on the mature skin. <laughs> so yes, guys, if this is something that interests you, welcome. Welcome to my channel, welcome to the party where we celebrate diversity and beauty because diversity makes us all different but at the same time gorgeous and beautiful let's start today's episode today's episode is all about the get ready with me with the products and cosmetics from the house of dior the forever makeup collection line okay let's start today's episode Okay, guys, 
guys, so are we ready? Because I am so excited to play with makeup from my favorite brand, which is House of Dior. And as you could see and featured in the intro, there has been some exciting shopping make made in the House of Dior. And this shopping has actually been made during the Christmas season. But since the time is actually flowing and then after Christmas I was having a break, I haven't had a chance actually to feature that. So today we are using this opportunity to talk a little bit about the shopping experience from the House of Dior. As you can see, the box that went for Christmas season was absolutely incredible and beautiful. And I believe that this is the latest aesthetics from the House of Dior. You're not going to see Dior, but you're going to probably see very often Christian Dior um, uh, like that in their, in their boxes. We shall see, time is going to show. And then when you unbox it right over here, everything is very beautifully sealed. There is a seal in here. So you know that you're going to be the first one who's going to open it. During the Christmas season, there was a special promotion when you could get such kind of a booklet, a notepad, which is so cute. Then inside, um, there was a little bit of a ticket, so I decided to fill it. Joyeux Noël, Merry Christmas from the House of Dior. How cute is this? And then, of course, the facture. Let's not talk about the expenses anymore. I am not even kidding. If you'll have time and willing, you'll discover the real amount of money spent on these products. And then... The products are right over here, the samples and then the product themselves. So guys, basically the shopping experience in the house of Dior is absolutely amazing. On top of that, there is a fidelity program, uh, which means that if you're going to buy from the house of Dior, you're going to accumulate points and then you have extra bonuses and prizes, which is actually very cool. Guys, so there's so many products in here. So allow me now that I am going to prepare them all together so that we can start the test. All right, guys, so we are definitely ready to start with the makeup. Everything is set. So let's go with the flow. By the way, the first thing that I would like to talk about would be the eyeshadows from the House of Dior and these eyeshadows that you can see right now are from the limited edition that went out for the Christmas and it is this one the Dior Ecrine Couture Maquillage Iconic Iconic Eye Makeup. This is how the product looks like and my oh my I mean when Dior says that Dior Ecrine Couture um, is launching its product, uh, it is definitely at the highest level possible. Um, the beauty of this product and of the packaging is absolutely incredible. And then when would you, if you would like to unbox it, as you can see, that was the Christmas theme last year, white mixed with gold, absolutely incredible and beautiful. And then if you would like to unbox it, this is what you are treated with. I mean this. I mean, oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. The box is incredible. There is a golden metal um, situation is happening in here. And then when you open the box, you can see a beautiful mirror right over here absolutely beautiful and gorgeous and then you have the eyeshadows so just to explain the first and the lightest eyeshadow went all over my eyelid then the second one went in the outer corner and as a transition and then the middle brown went in the outside and then the blackest went as a little bit of the eyeliner and this is the effect that you can get while using this limited edition eyeshadow. I still talk about this eyeshadow because despite the fact that it has been limited edition, I've been checking and there are still 
possibilities where you can get it if you would like to. And I must say, if I would like to compare this super couture limited edition to the standard um, quince from Dior, like I have this one. Allow me to show you really very quickly. Doesn't want to open. There you go. I have this one. It was from the autumn edition. Oh my gosh, the difference in quality. This is amazing. This blends like a butter. It gives me a very beautiful still subtle because Dior is known for a very subtle eyeshadows, but it's definitely much, much better in comparison with the quince from Dior. So if I would like to recommend, I would definitely recommend the limited edition Christmas edition eyeshadows instead of the Dior quince. That is my own personal opinion based on my experience while working with these products. Good. Let's put the eyeshadows aside and now let's get into the makeup. Something that is really very, very exciting. So guys, recently on my video, there has been featured a new um, illuminating primer from the Dior Glow collection, uh, which is this one, Dior Forever Glow Star, Star Filter Primer. This is how the product looks like and it is a glowy primer. Uh, it has certain shades and my shade is 1, 1N, because usually within the brand I am in that shade which is 1N. It can be 1CR, never 1W, but basically the intensity uh, is 1. And then when you open it, you can see a beautiful glowing primer. I suppose the, 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 this primer is, has appeared because when people touched the reformulated uh, Dior Forever Glow foundation, they were shocked that it's not glowing as it was in comparison with the previous formulation. So I suppose that was the biggest problem. That's why probably Dior decided to add an extra glow primer. Um, and it is right over here. We're going to use it. And then we are going to mix it with the latest premiere from Dior. And it is G Dior Forever Glow Maximizer. This is how the product looks like. And mine is in the shade Rosy. Um, these products, both of them, even the, uh, the Star Filter and the Glow Maximizer, they're very comparable with the Charlotte Tilbury Classics Hollywood Flawless Filter and Beauty Light Wands um, Glowgasm Pinkgasm. And my personal preference goes towards Charlotte Tilbury, although these products, they're definitely very good. My personal problem with this product uh, especially is that they have different pigments. Some of them they're super pigmented and some of them they're not. But basically what am I, where am I going with my thoughts? Because my skin is already prepped and primed. I'm 45 years old and my skin is mature, normal to dry with some dry areas right over here. So we're going to add a little bit of, gl of glow right in these areas. How? Allow me now to show you. I need to take the palette, just like so. And what I am going to take, I'm going to take the Dior Forever Glow Maximizer. I'm going to add a dot, like this, like this one. I don't need more. We're going to play a little bit today with makeup. And this is something that I like to do from time to time. Usually my makeup is super subtle. Um, so when I have a chance to go a little bit glam, um, a little bit of fun, then I'm saying, yeah, guys, why not? And then I'm going to take the Dior Forever Glow Star Filter and I'm going to take one pump. As you can see, there is already maximizer. And now, as you can see, we have two different formulas and consistencies. And what I am going to do now, I'm going to mix them all together to have a very nice and interesting result. I'm going to spread it right over here. 
So now we receive some sort of a very interesting nude blush primer. You're going to see the difference in just a second. I'm going to add um, uh, like so. And now I'm going to blend it with a brush. And look what is happening. My skin is transforming and it's illuminating. The, uh, this primer that I'm using right now, it's supposed to be hydrating and illuminating at the same time. And since this area on my face is very dry, and this is the area where you can see fine lines and wrinkles, uh, I like to use as that kind of a special primer. Let's see it once again. The glow is appearing. Normally I would be using Charlotte's Hollywood Flawless Filter, but since I have these products, I found it really very nice to use it like this. And look, there was just one pump and one dot, and they're very, very... Um, uh, economic? Should I say, you don't need to use a lot to have a beautiful effect of, a, of the glow and moisture at the same time. And this is something that I love. We're going to test a new Dior Forever Glow Foundation as well. So who knows, maybe this type of a extra glow is going to peek through the foundation. We're going to see, we're going to find out. And I still have some, but I don't need more than this, okay? As you can see, the beautiful glow has appeared. Good. So, we're using products strategically. Wherever we need a glow, we're going to use a glow. Whenever we need a matte, we're going to have matte. And this is going to be uh, done by, with the help of another product. And, it, this, and it's this one. It's Dior Forever Velvet Veil Primer. This is how the product looks like. And it is one of my favorite Dior primers because it is a primer that is going to slightly blur and mattify your face without drying it, which means that for a mature skin, it is something incredible because most of the mattifying primers, they have the drying properties because basically they're designed for the oily skin. So what I can say is that this primer is designed not for the oily skin, but for the mature skin. It does not dry my skin while giving me a soft blur and a little bit of a matte, which we are going to find out in just a second. I'm going to use one pump, just like so. And I'm going to approach and I'm going to apply it in my T-zone area, in the places where um, I just want a little bit of a blur and a little bit of a matte. So instantly, but like really instantly, there is a super subtle blur. There is a super subtle uh, softness. It's like really a velvet veil that comes with the primer. I like it. I saw many different reviews and many different thoughts, which is absolutely fine. Um, we can have our own opinion about this. I like it. I really like it. For me personally, it works and it definitely amplifies and, and extends the, um, uh, the longevity of the foundation. And this is how my face is primed. And this is how my face looks like before we are going to put a foundation on. So yes, guys, next step is the foundation. And I'm so excited because we are actually going to feature the cushion, the Dior Forever uh, Cushion Foundation. And there is a definitely lots of things that I would like to talk about. So guys, first of all, I don't know if you are aware how back in the past the, the, the Dior cushion has been sold. Basically, as far as I know, you had uh, the, the Dior Forever Compact 
And then you had two cushions because what, every each one of them there was like 15 milliliters so uh, the full size of the foundation usually is 30 milliliters so they split the cushions into two parts uh, each one of them was like 15 milliliter and everything was just in one box and these days <laughs> chicky dior chicky chicky i mean <laughs> guys you have a different uh, you have a separate cushion and then you have to buy a separate compact and you have no extra 15 milliliter of a cushion which means that back in the past for the 30 milliliter of the cushion with the compact at the price of the normal foundation you had everything and today you have half of the cushion which is 15 milliliter because there is no extra cushion in this cushion <laughs> and then you have to buy a separate component to the cushion that is half of the cushion and not the full cushion <laughs> i mean your cheeky cheeky your uh, <laughs> so yeah guys um but this is how it is i mean you, you know this is exactly how it is but allow me now to show you the compacts because it is absolutely incredible so the one of the compacts that came out in a limited edition was this one Dior Forever uh, a clean fond de teint cushion so cushion foundation case uh, this is how the product looks like and this it was actually almost viral it became viral and uh, this is the uh, the case that it's called the Tuileries it is absolutely incredible it is absolutely beautiful and with a great pleasure um, it is time now to show this to you. So guys, this is the packaging. This is the Dior, uh, as you can see, right over here. And then you open it and... Ta-da! Oh my gosh. I mean, guys, oh my gosh. How incredible this looks like. It is made of a fabric. And in this fabric, there is a golden, like, embossing. I don't know how to say it. And then you open the, the case. And then you have the mirror right over here. And then there's a hole. Like, hello? Hello? The cushion! Where is the cushion? The <laughs> joke So, yeah, I mean, this is a little bit weird I mean weird it is very gentle it is very thin and it is very gentle this is the place where we're going to click the cushion so that's the the component that has been launched with a, as a limited edition Christmas edition cushion and then the second one that is um, a normal standard edition and it's this one it is Dior Forever a Clean Fond de Teint cushion, cushion Foundation Case. This is how the product looks like. And guys, the, uh, the name of the case, it's called Embroidered Canage. It is a very interesting um, case as well as you're going to see it. I decided to buy both because the one that is described golden that was launched with a limited edition the tulery one i'm just i don't want to stain it by accident accidents can happen so i don't want to stain it or destroy it so that's why i have two we're going to see fit and and we're going to introduce it um uh, just in a second so yeah then you open the box and this is the cushion case this is the cushion case and then there is a matte fabric right over here with, of course, the logo of the Christian Dior. And then, once again, there is a mirror right over here that you can use it. And then there is a place where you can, you can press your cushion. So, <laughs> I mean the cushion, el, 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 eleganza. I mean, <laughs> I mean, guys, the cushion, eleganza extravaganza from the house of Dior. 
<laughs> you take the one cushion, and, the, or, and then you can just like press your cushion into this cushion case, or take the same cushion and press it in the second cushion case. Anyway, in both scenarios, you have absolutely beautiful and gorgeous cushion case. <laughs> Good. All right then. So then, this is what we, what I can say about the cushion case. And now let's talk about the cushion <laughs> itself. And it's this one, guys. And it is Dior Forever Cushion, uh, twenty-four hours wear, luminous matte, fresh foundation, height coverage infused in floral skincare, recharge, recharge refill, SPF thirty-five, PA plus plus plus. 13 grams of the product. This is how the product looks like and I got mine in the shade 1CR. I am absolutely very, I'm so curious and I can't wait to discover what kind of undertone we're going to say with the 1CR because it's like stepping on a, <laughs> on a very thin ice. Sometimes the 1CR can be very orangey and sometimes 1CRs they're absolutely perfect because as you can see I am rather neutral but I have lots of redness right over here um, and some yellowness and basically I'm like exactly in the middle of the spectrum when it comes to the undertones so the neutral spectrum or the cool um, this is something that I like the most I'm not feeling very well with the warm undertones so eventually after the Lots of thinking because you can't swatch it. You have to buy it blindly. I decided to go with this Dior Forever Cushion in the shade 1CR. And guys, um, just like as always, Dior is saying that it's having foundation filled with a skincare, with a floral skincare. That's absolutely fine. I'm totally okay with this. So guys, right now you can see the ingredients list for this cushion. And we're not going to talk about the skincare and about the goodies for your skin in this foundation, but we are actually going to talk really very quickly about the undesirable um, ingredients. Because Dior is consistent uh, with its reformulation and getting rid of all the controversial um, uh, ingredients. So for me, it was quite a shocker to discover that it, this foundation they have included the ingredients that are not desirable or um, that are definitely not beneficial when it comes to the skincare. What are these ingredients? The first one is alcohol. Guys, if you have a sensitive skin, if you have some redness uh, and or some allergies, the alcohol is definitely not your friend in a skin caring foundation. <laughs> because it's not taking care a lot about your skin. <laughs> that is my own personal opinion, because by all means, I am not the expert when it comes to the, the ingredients list. I do not formulate products, um, and this is just my opinion. And the second ingredient is like a slap in the face, in the form of the ingredient that is BHD. And BHD, in the opinion of the internet, is considered as the carcinogen. I mean, in the new product, in the new and reformulated product from Dior, we see alcohol and we see a BHT. That was a little bit of a shocker for me. But this is all, that's all what I can say about the ingredients list. Of course, apart from that, we have the floral skincare. It's absolutely very nice, but I prefer to concentrate myself on the, uh, on the ingredients that are non-beneficial to your skin. And it's alcohol and BHT. So guys, okay, let's wrap this up and now let's unbox this cushion and see what's inside.
Okay guys, so we have unboxed it and this is how the cushion compact looks like. Once again, shade 1CR. There is a beautiful, um, beautiful um, puff uh, with a very interesting sh uh, shape. It's because, I guess, the Dior is saying that it can be accessed right over here so that you can apply it in the under eye area. But let's be honest, alcohol and BHD, they're not going to land in my under eye area because this is the thinnest skin that you have on your, on your face. But okay, so there is a compact right over here and there is a case right over here. So let's give it a go. Let's give it a whirl. Let's give it a try and see how it is going to look like and how it is going to click right over here. Good, okay, okay. It's, about, it's the first time when I'm doing this, so. Ah, okay, good. Okay, it fits. It fits perfectly and then there is a puff and then you close it and then the whole component with the case is complete a very interesting there is some magnet in right over here as well mechanism and this is how it looks like beautiful absolutely beautiful gorgeous very interesting although have in mind that you're having half uh, of the standard uh, foundation for the price of the standard <laughs> foundation so cheeky dior really very cheeky because in this particular situation you actually have to buy a separate cushion and a separate case <laughs> good and then we're going to use the second case the one that i uh, wanted to use it with because well the, the other one was just like couture limited edition i don't want to ruin it so there's some sort of a, there's some magnet right over here. We're going to open just like so. And click it. Good. Do we have it? Yes, it fits. It fits. And then we have the co the the applicator and then this is the cushion this is the cushion as a whole and by the way where we gonna when we gonna lift uh, lift the lid this is the protection that it holds so let's uh, let's get rid of the protection and start applying the the foundation how cute is this? I love it. It's really compact. I love it. <laughs> All right, guys, so the cushion is actually released. And let's go with a swatch because I don't know about this cool rosy. We shall find out. Let's do the swatch on my hand. This is how it looks like, the 1CR. It kind of melts with my skin. We're going to see, we're going to leave it like that when it comes to the... There is a very gentle and soft perfume. It smells like flower. Um, so yeah, okay, let's go to the application. We're actually going to use the applicator and see what is going to happen. So I am going to take this applicator and saturate it and yeah I guess we these we, we just need to smack my face so let's go okay okay oh all right 
I like the shade. Oh my gosh, I like the shade. See, ah, uh, I mean, okay. Um, let's be honest with this. Um, I personally, I am not afraid of the cool tone undertones. So I went with the cool rosy because uh, I know basically a little bit of the foundations from Dior. And I generally, I am feeling very well with these undertones. By the way, <laughs> by the way, I mean, <laughs> can you hear it? Oh, oh my gosh, Dior, what is happening? <laughs> but the sound of it, good. <laughs> Dior cushion. <laughs> and, okay, oh wow. Guys, okay, wow. So, because there are two versions of this cushion. There is a Dior Forever Glow cushion and there is a Dior Forever Normal one. And I chose the, the normal one. So this is rather more on the um, soft matte side. And I mean, guys, can you actually see the coverage from the cushion? color 1CR. So this is the side that has not been covered yet. And this is the side that has been covered. The applicator itself applies the foundation really very nicely. What I can see now, it's a little bit of a blur, a very soft matte type of a foundation that is non-drying. Uh, my The coverage I would consider as light to medium non-heavy, perfecting, wow, all right, Dior, I am shocked, so far so good, by, <laughs> I am shocked by this, by this Dior foundation, I mean, can you tell, look at this, perfection, and the reality, which one do you choose, because, for now, I prefer the perfection, <laughs> Good, okay, let's go to the other side of my face then and apply the rest of the foundation. I'm going to take the applicator once again and that was just like one dip and that was more than enough. Look at this. And I like the shade. I really like the shade. Oh, it's just so tempting to put this in the under eye area because it's kind of a, like a perfecting foundation. Everything seems to be smooth. It's not over glowy. The glow from the previous primers that I have used right over here, they're still peeking through. Everything is really airbrushed and perfected. I have an impression that the foundation itself, it's a little bit tacky, but in general, it sets on its own. Wow, okay. And the shade, 1CR, is definitely my shade. If it wouldn't, then, uh, I'm going to spread it here. If it wouldn't, then I would go with 1N. There are not many shades within the cushion foundation. It has always been like that. I don't know if they are not very popular among, among the clients. So that's why they're not investing a lot of money in that product. But guys, I mean... Am I, is this closing? Doesn't want to close very well, the component. Um, I am not even exaggerating, but have a look. <laughs> I mean, ooh, wow. Absolutely wow. A perfected, soft matte, non-drying effect effect on my skin that I can see it right now. I am absolutely shook. Good. Okay, guys, let's go to another step. 
and another step would be a little bit of a correction but just a little bit so we're going to use the concealer the Dior forever skin correct concealer and mine is in the shade 0.5 n this is how the product looks like it is a jumbo concealer filled with skincare it has 11 milliliters of the product and um, it, it has been reformulated as well and I suppose the previous formula was uh, was much more liked because of the presence of the silicones that created this kind of a unique formulation, a smoothing formulation in our under eye area that just looked beautiful. It looked absolutely beautiful. They got rid of the silicones more or less and infused it more with the skincare. So it's not performing as well as it was back in the past uh, back in the past nonetheless it is very much liked by the other people i haven't been visiting this concealer for a little while so let's have a refresh and let's see how it is going to look like because i actually forgot <laughs> i actually forgot um so yeah let's have a look then this is the bottle this is how it looks like a beautiful glass bottle and mine as i said said is 0.5 n and i am going to take um, a brush and i'm going to spread it just like so the concealer so this shade uh, Basically, what happens with Dior is that Dior has, it's known for its oxidation and it is oxidizing. So right now it is brightening, but uh, I guess soon enough it is going to, um, it is going to oxidize and it's going to be less brightening. Uh, nonetheless, the 0.5N is definitely uh, my shade. So that you can compare guys the the side with a concealer and the side with a, without the concealer you don't really need a lot to conceal because it is very nicely pigmented i'm going to blend it right over here good very nice okay guys i'm going to finish blending of the camera and i'll be back in just a second <laughs> all right guys so i suppose when it comes to the cushion foundation and the concealer everything is on my face everything has rested long enough and now we're ready with the other application by the way allow me to approach um uh, after concealer i use the typical pat mcgrath uh, lapse setting powder which is um skin fetish sublime perfection blurring under eye powder in the shade light and this is how it all presents itself we run out of the natural light <laughs> So yeah, and as you could see in the beginning, the, the concealer was brightening, but right now it has oxidized to the point when it, it, it just melts with my skin. Good. So that is all when it comes to the foundation and the concealer. And right now, let's proceed with this makeup. And I was always very curious about the Dior Forever Rouge Blushes one of them it has been uh, it has been launched during the christmas season and it was this one dior rouge blush which is longwear couture blush infused with floral skincare and mine is in the 211 precious rose satin uh, limited edition this is how the product looks like and I was uh, very curious about these blushes and um, one of them was uh, fairer and one of them was deeper. So I went with the one that was fairer and um, there was a big surprise actually guys. There was actually <laughs> a cheeky, cheeky, cheeky Dior. Because if you would buy last year blushes, you would be positively surprised with a, an extra pouch. 
and that's made of fabric. And then inside the pouch was the, bra uh, the blush. And this year, they ran out of the fabric. <laughs> in, uh, where is the fabric? Dior, where is the fabric in my limited edition blush? Because last year there was, and now there isn't. <laughs> Dior, cheeky cheeky. <laughs> but, okay, um, you know. And then... There is the beautiful blush, as you can see, quite nude, quite pretty, a little bit luminous. There is a mirror right over here so that you can uh, use it on the go. But we are not going to use this blush because it was limited edition. And um, I've been checking, it is mostly sold out everywhere. Depends on the country uh, where you live in. Sometimes it might be still available on the official Dior website. I'm just going to leave it and keep it like that for the collecting purposes. But we are going to um, concentrate ourselves on the uh, blushes that um, are in a permanent co collection within the reformulation. Because there has been happened a reformulation and this is one of these blushes. Which is the Dior Rouge Blush. Longwear couture blush infused with floral skincare, and mine is in a very unique shade, 219 Rose Mountain. This is how the um, uh, product looks like, and this t this blush is in the finish shimmer, because there are different finishes. You have matte, you have satin, and then you have shimmer. So I went with shimmer, and this one especially tickled my pickle, because it's called Rose Mountain. And if you don't know, actually, the Rue Montaigne in Paris is the street when you have the original house of Dior, where it has been established and built and exists up to this day. So Rose Montaigne, not the Rue Montaigne, but the Rose Montaigne is the blush that refers to the house of Dior the most, I suppose. So this is how the blush looks like and then this is how the component looks like good but before we are going to apply this blush let's jump into the bronzing because i want to add a little bit of a shape and a little bit of a contour by the way i really like how this foundation looks like i really like it I'm very positively surprised in 1C air, although um, I use artificial light today because, well, we still have winter. So it's very difficult to film in the natural light. We run out of the natural light, by the way. So we have to use the what we can use to, to, to do this episode. So today we're having lots of artificial light. What will happen if I will amplify the light? I guess with a little bit less of a light, it's, it looks better. Good. All right. Let's continue. So we're going to use the bronzer. And guys, it's this one. The Dior Forever Natural Bronze. And it is healthy sun-kissed uh, skin bronzer. Longwear perfection and comfort. And mine is in the shade 4. This is how the product looks like. You're getting 9 grams of the product. And this one was um, belong to the limited edition as well. I know. Um, I, I, just, I just love collecting makeup. You know, uh, I am a little bit of a makeup freak. I love collecting makeup. And sometimes when there's this limited edition, I'm just like, oh my gosh, if I'm not going to get it, it's going to be gone and it's not going to come back. So what I'm trying to say is that the component was a limited edition, but the inside bronzer is in the permanent con uh, collection and it is the number four of the powder bronzer. So yes, you're basically when it comes to this test, you might lose the component that was limited edition, but the bronzer itself in the shade four is the one that is very widely available. So then when you open this, oh my gosh, guys, look at this. 
Christian Dior. This is fabric. The embossing is absolutely incredible, amazing. It has been launched for the last year's summer edition. Very nice, very beautiful. Then it has a little bit of a like like a dot in here, which would suggest that it might be exchangeable with refills. You might get a refill, which is really very cute, very nice. And then <laughs> there is a oh. Oh, there is a bronzer in here with the new Christian Dior aesthetics. Because back in the past, they were just like Dior or like CD. So uh, these days, very often, I see the Christian Dior everywhere in their packaging. Is it going to be like that? Or is it going to be like that? We shall see. We shall find out. Because I believe that the evolution of Dior and reformulation and whatnot has not yet finished has not yet ended. We are still observing it up to this day. When it's going to end, we don't know. We shall find out. Good. So I am going to take a brush and I'm going to add a little bit of a, of a shape. Good. Okay. Oh, wow. A very nice warming bronzer. Can you see it? I, oh, wow. Okay. Um, what I like about this bronzer that you have a control. This is something that I love about makeup, that you have a control. It's not over pigmented and you can easily build, um, uh, the, uh, build the coverage, build the color. I don't know if you can see it. I can already see it. I don't know if camera can pick this up. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, I love it. The, the, uh, because, uh, you know, sometimes having a variety of shade is good, but sometimes it I just can be lost. You know, if I have too much uh, to choose from, but this four, very nice, very pretty. It is building up. And it's very nicely warming my, my face and my complexion. Oh, wow. Very nice. It blends like a dream, like a butter. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I, <laughs> as you can see, I am definitely very excited. But hey, am I exaggerating or does it really look good? Look perfecting. Look smooth. I love it. Good. Okay, so now we have bronzer and right now it is time to add a little bit of a blush that I mentioned before and it is called the Rose Montaigne, which is um, a shimmer blush. Let's see. Let's find out. I mean, this is, you know, it's very typical for certain luxurious brands. Let's save the environment maybe and skip that. <laughs> But hey, um, I don't want to sound shady. I'm definitely not that type of a person. So this is the blush. And it is called to, it is considered to be um, uh, a shimmer blush. So let's take a little bit of a fluffy um, uh, brush, dip it, and try to add a little bit of a color. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, once again, guys, once again, what is happening? A control, a control, which means that you can just like poop, poop, poop. And everything is building up and everything is melting with your skin. Everything is blending really very nicely. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> um, you can definitely see my excitement, but it's happening. It's happening for the reason. I don't want to over blush myself. It blends very nicely with the previously um, applied bronzer. Everything looks perfected. Everything looks airbrushed. Everything looks very natural. I really like I love it, guys. I absolutely love it. So allow me now to 
to show uh, to show myself to you because this blush it's a very special blush it is filled with some sort of an illuminating shimmer and i can definitely see some glow that comes from within this blush it is very nice very pretty and this is how it looks like good another product that i would like to talk about would be this one <laughs> and it is guys the dior forever couture luminizer and it is the intense highlighting powder longwear and comfort this is how the product looks like and once again this is another limited edition and it is in the very unique shade which is called a coral cruise which um i would call i would uh, say that it's the closest to the pillow talk um uh, highlighter from the charlotte tilbury do not uh, misled it for the blush uh, Charlotte Tilbury has um, has very unique um, highlighters. One of them is Pillow Talk, and this one in the Coral Cruise seems to be very similar. So I went for this one. It was in a, with a limited edition, but you can definitely get new uh, highlighters within the Dior Forever line. There's no problem with that. And then there is a component, a very pretty and very unique component, and then. this is how it looks like as you can see a very similar to the pillow talk um, highlighter that comes from the charlotte tilbury then we take out the protection and yeah guys let's apply and let's see how it is going to look like the glow So what I like about the makeup from, from Dior is the control, that it's not uh, super pigmented or like over pigmented, it's not going to hurt you and you can definitely build up to the desired um, effect. I like a very subtle effect and I am already very nicely glowy. It's a very interesting shade. Sometimes I like the, the highlighters that are very sparkly, like the Fenty Beauty, the Glass Bomb. And sometimes I just like the one that gives me the most beautiful glass glowy skin. And I would say that this is the one, the Coral Cruise very nice it is like a mixture a little bit of a pinkish with gold a very nice effect i could of course uh, continue adding it but i need to stop <laughs> because it is just like makeup is just so much fun this is the effect that i'm getting with, while combining all these products together good guys let's set our makeup just a little bit and we are going to use a um, newest uh, launched uh, loose powder and it's this one from dior and it is called dior forever cushion powder ultra fine and fresh loose setting powder and mine is in the limited edition 0, 0.0 lavender. <laughs> this is how the product looks like another limited edition powder. But as, as I was checking it lately and you, you can still get it. Um, this belonged to the limited edition collection Dior Forever called the Blooming Boudoir. And with that collection there was some eyeshadows. I wasn't sure about the eyeshadows because the quint didn't perform very well. So I was a little bit hesitant about the eyeshadows. But then there was still uh, some other products in the form of the special um, lipstick case. And then there was this powder. So let's unbox this powder and I mean, God, Dior definitely knows how to make the packaging. This is made of fabric. There are some beautiful flowers. Look at this. This is the powder. This is the bronzer. 
this is the cushion foundation or this might be the cushion foundation. It is gorgeous. It is beautiful. It is eye catching. I'm just like, I'm just gagging. <laughs> I'm absolutely gagging over this. But then, okay, there is a powder. There is a puff. There is a mirror. The puff is super fluffy. I'm not going to use the, fl uh, the puff. And then you open it right over here and then there's a seal. So you have to break the seal to get into the powder. So yeah, let's do that. All right, guys, so as you can see, the seal has been released and there's definitely, allow me to show you, some sort of a pinkiness that comes with this powder. Allow me now to touch the powder. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. It's smooth. It is smooth, but it's not as smooth as you would compare it, for example, with the Pat McGrath labs it is a little bit drying in the touch so i'm going to use it really very sparingly as as you can see there's definitely some sort of um, um of the brightening features which is very typical to that kind of a pinkish powder good i'm going to take the brush just like so pick up a little bit a lot of the product as you can see, I am going to work this product here in the skin because I don't want to overload. And then we're going to slightly set it. Wait a second. There is some sort of a perfume, even in the powder, guys. I am not even kidding. A very beautiful floral. This is something that is very typical for the, for the House of Dior as well. That is, um, everything is filled with floral skincare. And it smells very florally. <laughs> Good. Okay. Definitely it smooths. Definitely it blurs. It looks very, very nice. I'm going to add a little bit more. But just a little bit. Everything seems to be very perfected. Everything looks soft, matte, with the glowy places wherever I put some sort of a glow. It is very nice. Good. I'm going to close it because this is a little bit messy, as you can see. So I am going to close this. I'm going to put the puff. I'm going to close this component. And I'm going to present myself, guys. This is how it looks like. Everything is blurred, everything is airbrushed, everything is perfected. So far, guys, so good. I mean, I am actually very, very excited. By the way, let's check the foundation oxidation because I think that there is enough time that has been passed. We can actually check it out. So I am going to take the foundation, the cushion, just like so. I need to I need to close it so that it won't dry. There is a foundation and I'm going to apply it. All right. So this is the fresh layer and this is the new layer. So as you can see the uh, the peachy orange undertone are quite punchy, but then for my type of a skin it melts. And it blends with my skin to the point when it's not visible that much.
but there's definitely some sort of an oxidation. Have in mind that oxidation is individual on every person and it, the effect might be different. So if you don't like what you see, maybe the neutral one would be better for you. I'm basically, what I'm trying to say, I'm not scared to use the uh, cool rosy undertone because as you can see, it, it works. It actually works on my skin. Good. Last step, because there has there is a lot of steps in here, and I'm afraid that the episode is going to be really very long. Would be the lipsticks. Would be the lipsticks. And guys, let's first talk about the latest launch from Dior, and it's this one. Dior Rouge Dior um, Floral Care, Care Lip Balm Natural Couture color this is how the product looks like and mine actually has doesn't have any color it is zero 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 dior natural satin balm we're getting 3.5 grams of the product and um they reformulated it once again they changed the packaging once again this is dior this is what is happening um month after month when they're introducing the new products at the same time is actually Actually very exciting because Dior continues just showing new products even if the products were old they're still old but new <laughs> if that makes sense so um, there it is the product and then you open it and tada this is the balm the lipstick balm and it's incredible because look at this there is a magnet as you can see, the magnet mechanism, which I absolutely love. And another thing that I love is the refill. So maybe in the future we will be able to buy a limited edition um, cases, lipstick cases, which would be really very cool. And then you take this, you click it, you close it and you're good to go. And by the way, guys, this is the bullet. <laughs> Where's the Dior? There it is. I don't know if you can see it, if camera can pick this up. There is a Dior right over here. So as I've said, this lip... I need to twist it. This lip balm is... Um, it's transparent. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try... Does it have... It has a very nice balmy scent and I'm going to try to apply it to my lips. This product is used very often on the models um, on the runway where, in, when there is a Paris Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm hmm very nice I can definitely feel some moisture to my to my um, to my lips there is not some super glow that comes within very pretty very nice I mean for for guys especially for men when you have some uh, some um, chapped um, uh, when you have some dry lips you can use that kind of a balm and it works really very nice. There is a very nice um, a balm in kind of a taste to it. I can definitely feel some moisture and it's, it's satin. It's satin. It looks really very pretty. Good. So that would be this product. Very nice. And then let's jump into the last product, guys, of this demo because this episode is going to be like forever. <laughs> <laughs> and it would be the Dior Addict Lipsticks. First, allow me to show you this case. This case came out as well, along with the um, uh, Christmas... Um, uh, it was a limited edition Christmas edition case. Um, and as you can see, it fits really very well with the cushion. 
the cushion foundation and the, the lipstick. And that's the, the best thing about the Dior um, Lip Addict is that you can buy a separate case and then you can buy a lipstick. And then you can combine it all together. So this is how uh, it looks like, the case in the limited edition from the Christine Dior. There is a beautiful fabric, there is a beautiful golden here embossing. Um, I love it, I love it. And then combines all together. There is a very pretty combo in a limited edition, something that I personally love as when I'm collecting makeup, because I do collect makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I actually do collect makeup. So yeah, but then if you would be bored of this this case, you can have another case. And it's this one, guys. It's Dior Addict um, a lipstick case. And mine is in the limited edition Blooming Boudoir. This is how the product looks like. And once again, another lovely and beautiful lipstick case. And then all what you have to do is to choose any kind of a Dior Addict lipstick and combine it with any um, available lipstick case. You know, it depends uh, on your taste and your own personal preference, which is absolutely amazing and good. So then when you open it, you have this beautiful case. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Was that you're trolling to launch such kind of a beautiful flowery uh, blooming boudoir collection in autumn when everything is actually fall falling asleep before winter? That would be so cute to be launched right now during the spring. But this is the case. And then once again, you have a case, you have a case and you have the lipstick and my lipstick is in the unique and very uh, popular shade, which is 100 nude look. So then you take the lipstick and allow me now to show you this very unique and beautiful shade, which is 100 nude look. It looks like a skin. Mm. It glides really very nicely as as you can see a very beautiful and pretty nude look This is the shade. This is the color I can build it up, but eventually this is the result that I would have get so So yes, okay guys so I suppose when it comes to the makeup from Dior Forever collection, latest launches from the latest months, everything has been applied. Right now, allow me to do some final fixes and I'll be back with the first summary. All right, you guys, so there you have it. Uh, makeup from Dior Forever collection. Everything is applied on my skin and right now it is time to do the first check-in. So guys, allow me to show you makeup that is worth almost 600 euros. <laughs> I mean... I'm not even kidding guys, I'm not even kidding, so let, allow me to approach and show you how it looks like after application. Guys, we're talking here about the primers, we're talking here about the foundation, we're talking here about the concealer, we're talking here about the bronzer, blush and the highlighter and we're talking about eyeshadows as well and we're talking about the lip products and this is the effect that you can have if you would like to invest some of the money in the Dior Forever makeup uh, line. It's up to you if it's something interests you. Um, I'm just passing you the information. I'm not trying to sell you the product, but I love to talk about my favorite brand, which is Dior. So guys, this is how the makeup looks like after application.
So yes, I suppose that's all what I have to say about now, about the first check-in. Right now, let's go outside and see how the makeup is going to look like outside. And by the end of the day, let's meet to see how this makeup is going to look like by the end of the day. So yes, guys, if it's gonna be possible, let's just go on a walk and meet outside. Hello, gorgeous, beautiful stars. <laughs> Paris Star Channel here welcomes you with this check-in in the natural light, the most beautiful makeup from the Dior Forever collection. And as you can see, there's definitely a difference between the studio lights and between the natural lights. Although, as you can see, the natural lights are quite grumpy. We're still in the middle of the winter, by the way, but it's fine, it's okay. This is as much as we can get. So allow me now to approach and show you this makeup Dior Forever collection in its natural glory in the natural light. So I wonder what do you think? The primers, the foundation, the concealer, the bronzer, the blush, the highlighter, the powder, and then when it comes to the concealer and this is the eyeshadows this is how everything looks like for now on what i can say definitely that we are rather more on the makeup -y side a perfecting airbrushed makeup and there is some sort of a dryness as you can see to my skin good Okay guys, so that would be all when it comes to this check-in in the natural light and right now allow me now to go back to the studio for a final check-in. I am very curious how this makeup is going to look like and perform by the end of the day. So greetings from the outside world and right now <laughs> guys let's go back to the studio. Mwah. Hello gorgeous beautiful stars! <laughs> Paris Star Channel here welcomes you with this final check-in uh, by the end of the day. <laughs> and like, what am I even talking? The day has actually already ended and we start a, a new one, guys. I am not even kidding you. Look, it is after 1 a.m. in the night. <laughs> Welcome in the life of the YouTuber, you know, when I'm sitting late working on this episode for your own and my pleasure so that we can share and talk and connect and uh, spend some time in the beauty subject. Anyway, <laughs> guys, to the subject, okay, to the subject. So this is how the makeup from the Dior Forever collection is going to look like after a whole day of wear. So allow me now to approach so that you can see it, the primers, the foundation, the bronzer, the blush, the highlighter, and then the eyeshadows. And this is how the makeup looks like. So guys, let's summarize everything really very quickly because I definitely have some thoughts after using these products um, for, for the first time. Good. First, the eyeshadows, guys. <laughs> the eyeshadows, they're tired. For them, uh, this is my own personal opinion based on my experience while working with these products. I am not a very big fan. Eventually, I must say it in the year of 2024, I am not a very big fan of the eyeshadow formulation from the Dior. They're strange. The reformulation of the eyeshadows, in my opinion, from Dior is strange. Sometimes, for example, you touch the eyeshadow and you say, oh my god, it's so creamy, although it's powder. It's like the one from Makeup by Mario. They're powders, but they're so silky uh, smooth, almost creamy, although it's powder. While in here, the eyeshadows from the from the Christian Dior, they're just dry. There's some sort of a strange 
um, smoothness but dryness at the same time. So when it comes to this palette, the sweet spot was just about five hours when it looked nice and nothing really happened. And after five hours, they were starting to lose its quality, should I say. And the final result after a whole day of wear is underwhelming for the price it offers. So if I would like to invest my money in something good and very reliable, I would definitely go towards the Natasha Denona eyeshadows palette or I would go towards the makeup by Mario. This Paris Star Channel gives an orange light to the eyeshadows uh, from the Christian Dior. I am not a very big fan of it and this is how it is going to look like by the end of the day. Good. Let's move on to the primers and the highlighters, okay? The first thing that is very new and apparently it's not even available in many countries. So I suppose France, it's, it's a privileged country. So these two products mixed all together, which would be the Dior Forever um, star, uh, star Filter Primer mixed with the Dior Forever Maximizer. Guys, I really like it. It gives a very beautiful and nice um, glow to the skin and it peeks through the foundation, although it depends what kind of foundation you are using, because if you are using a full coverage co foundation, you're going to cancel everything, so it's not going to peek through. But if you're going to use a lightweight, beautiful foundation, for example, matte foundation, the glow, when you're going to put in a strategic points, they're going to show. So when it comes to this primer, Dior Forever Glow Star Filter, Paris Star Channel gives a green light to this product. I enjoy this product on my face. Although if I would have to choose between the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter or this one, I would still remain faithful to my one and only Holy Grail, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Nonetheless, this product is definitely very good and it does its desired job. Then when it comes to the Dior Forever Glow Maximizer in the shade Rosy, I like it, I enjoy it, I enjoy it especially the way I showed you in the demo when I mix it with this primer because this product itself is definitely very pigmented and you can, you can overdo. <laughs> <laughs> basically. So I like it to tone it down while mixing with the with the primer. Nonetheless, it works, it looks pretty, it looks glow glowy, it delivers all the promises. So Paris Star Channel gives a green light to the Dior Forever Glow Maximizer. I think it's an interesting product. And once again, I'm remaining faithful to my all-time favorites, which would be the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand Glowgasm pink gasm um, tubes, I th they're, they're, they're just my favorite. Nonetheless, it's a very good product and it performs very well. Another product that I would like to talk about would be the Dior Forever Velvet Veil Primer. For me, as a person that has a mature skin, this primer really works. It is a non-drying, um, soft blurring and um, uh, soft blurring and soft mattifying primer that is just not drying my mature skin. I love it. I love it. And on top of all this, like, guys, oh my gosh. <laughs> you can tell my eyes is just like... Uh, uh. <laughs> so, guys, uh, and on top of that primer, makeup layers really very nice. There is a blur. There is a smooth... It delivers its promise of being a velvet veil uh, primer. And I personally, as a person with a mature skin, definitely enjoy its mattifying properties and it is non-drying. I love it. I love it. When it comes to the Dior Forever Velvet Veil, Paris Star Channel gives a green light to this primer as well as it works for me really very nice and I enjoy using it. Good. 
Another product that I would like to talk about would be the foundation, the cushion, the cushion foundation. Ta-da! Guys, the cushion foundation was a definitely a very big surprise for me, a very positive surprise because it is a perfecting airbrushing foundation that I personally like a lot. It is on the mattifying side, so... Okay, something has to be said about the makeup. The makeup is drying. Definitely. The sweet spot was like five hours as well for the makeup and then I saw some changes in my skin when something was drying. What caused the dry? Was it the foundation with alcohol? I don't know. Was it the powder that ha might have a setting drying features? I don't know. But basically, in general, something has happened and the makeup became a little bit dry. Nonetheless, as the foundation itself, I really like it. I really like it. I would put aside all the floral skincare and all the uh, claims about the skincare in this foundation. For me, this is a typical foundation that is supposed to look good and perform really very well. This is my own personal uh, opinion apart from that the ingredients in the form of alcohol and BHD was a huge disappointment but nonetheless they're here and what else I can say I suppose the subject is saturated <laughs> so guys when it comes to my personal opinion and about the Dior Forever Cushion Foundation Paris Star Channel gives a green light uh, to this uh, to this cushion foundation. I think it is a very beautiful soft matte foundation that is blurring, that is perfecting my skin and it just looks really very nice. So I have nothing else to say about that foundation. Good, let's jump into the concealer. Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. Guys, allow me to approach and show you how the concealer looks after a whole day of wear. The concealer is tired. The concealer is definitely shows some signs of being tired. It tried to perform as best as possible. And once again, I would say five hours was the sweet spot. And then maybe it's my under eye area. It became really very dry. And then I could see the sign of tiredness in my under eye area. And that's the result. Nonetheless, it is a good concealer. It is not an overwhelming, mind-blowing, perfect concealer. It has its limits. And um, now I reminded myself that I'm always reaching its limits. It per looks and performs like this. So, um, for mature skin, it might not be a perfect concealer, but it is a good concealer. So Paris Star Channel gives a green light to the concealer Dior Forever uh, Skin Correct. Good. Let's go now into the bronzer from the Christian Dior. A beautiful uh, bronzer in the shade number four. Number four. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay. So... I really love the bronzer. I think it's a beautiful and gorgeous bronzer. What I like about this bronzer is the control. It gives me control, it is buildable, it can be sheer and it can be built up, which is absolutely wonderful. The shade is um, very nice, very warm. It warms up my complexion. It looks really nice, it smooths, it blurs. I have nothing bad to say about this bronzer so Paris Star Channel gives a green light to the um, Dior Forever um, what's your name what's your name what's your name Dior Forever natural bronze good let's go now into the blush Do uh, Dior Forever uh, rouge blush in the shade rose montaigne this is a very unique blush, I must admit. 
um, a blush that is uh, that it's filled with shimmer. It is some sort of a, a blush lighter when the when the blush meets a little bit with the highlighting, and it gives me a beautiful effect. It definitely, well, my, as I've been wearing this makeup for the whole day, it, the, it's definitely the, the colors has toned down a little bit, kind of disappeared a little bit. But nonetheless, I still like it. I still enjoy it. So if people would ask me, Paris Star Channel gives um, a red light to the Dior Forever um, blush. And then when it comes to the luminizer, which is the Dior Forever Couture Luminizer. This one is in the limited edition Coral Cruise. A very beautiful luminizer, a very beautiful um, uh, highlighter that reminds me a lot about the Charlotte Tilbury um, highlighter. This is something what we've said already before. It looks very pretty. It gives me effect of a glass skin. It can be uh, it can be buildable, so it gives me a control, something that I absolutely enjoy. All right, one more product that I would like to talk about would be, of course, the powder, the Dior Forever Cushion Powder in this unique shade of the lavender. This powder is definitely very unique in touch, a little bit on the drying side than on the super smoothing uh, side. It performs really very well, but if you would look at my makeup, there's definitely some sort of a dryness. Is it a fault of the foundation or is it the fault of the of the powder? I don't know. The powder itself, it does its job. It blurs, it smooths, so I have nothing really bad to say. On top of that, the lavender is a definitely very unique brightening shade. I like it. I really enjoy it. Everything is put back together. It's combined and it's giving me a very lovely um, effect on my face. So for me, of course, Paris Star Channel gives a green light to the Dior Forever a cushion powder. Good. The last two products would be, the first one would be the balm from Christian Dior, a new and refillable balm. I think the whole idea already of the refill is very nice. The balm is very nice as well. It gives me a very nice effect of the of the moisturized lips. I really like it. Nonetheless, it is not an over, um, it's, not, it's not a mind blowing balm. It's a balm, okay? It's going to stay for a little while on your lips while moisturizing your lips. Um, I personally enjoy it and I personally like it. So Paris Star Channel gives a green light to the, uh, to the Rouge Dior Floral Care lip balm <laughs> and then when it comes to the Dior lip addict cases and especially the lipstick this one is in the shade 100 nude look I like it as well but since this is some sort of a hybrid product when the lipstick meets with a skincare in the form of a lip balm this is not going to last very long on your lips have that in mind. I personally don't mind. I love the shade 100 nude look, which looks basically like my lips, but better. Allow me to present it once more. It glides on my skin. It's giving me a very beautiful color to my lips. It giving, it's giving me moisture. But because of this kind of like balmy feature, this is not a super long lasting uh, lipstick. You would have to reapply it quite frequently. I personally don't mind. But if you are a big fan of the long lasting lipsticks, this might not be, one, not be the one. Nonetheless, for me personally, Paris Star Channel gives a green light to the Dior Lip Addict lipstick. I, I love it. I really like it. I really enjoy it. Oof, guys, 
that would be all when it comes to this huge test of the Dior Forever collection, especially the latest launch um, and the makeup that you, that you can do, that you can that you can create while using this product. Once again, a final look. This is how these products they're going to look like on your face after a whole day of work. I wonder which of these products they actually tickle your pickle. If you have a question, feel free to ask. I will be more than happy to share my experience with you if you would like to know anything more about the products that has been said. Of course, I can't have an episode for like two hours, so <laughs> we need to end right here, right now. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for tuning into my channel where we celebrate diversity and beauty because diversity makes us all different, but at the same time, gorgeous, unique and beautiful. Time to say goodbye. See you soon in my next episode. But as for now, guys, kisses and cuddles. Bye bye now.